Bon Giovanni trial is kicking off right now. We're, we're going to be breaking down all the testimony. Joe Bon Giovanni, the retired DE agent charged with uh, pocketing a quarter million dollars in bribes to protect uh, Buffalo mob drug networks. Um, his second trial is is off and running, opening arguments. We got a jury. Testimony starts next week. We'll be breaking it down um, on a nightly. But the big news right now, is that motion for dismiss has been put in uh, with Judge Villardo, not for the Bon Giovanni part of the case, but for the Peter Gerace Jr. part of the case, the nephew of reputed Buffalo Mafia godfather, uh, Joe Pizza Todaro. Um, and he is the number one defendant in this case, strip club owner, uh, uh, Pharaoh's Gentleman's Club in uh, Chictawaga and is accused of drug, sex trafficking, racketeering out of that club. Uh, there's been a lot of alleged shadiness being, you know, or allegations of shadiness being lobbed back and forth over the last year, starting with the recusal of uh, Judge Sinatra, the first judge in this case, uh, who had to step down back, you know, recused himself, stepped down in June of 20. 23. Uh, and then it's come out in the last month, uh, based on reporting from the Buffalo News, reporting here at uh, OG Pod, our uh, companion web magazine, Gangster Report, as well as the defense, uh, Jerace, defense Jerace Jr.'s defense, putting um, evidence into the record that really paints a different picture of Judge Sinatra's recusal that Sinatra and the feds painted last year. And now we're also finding that Judge Villardo, um, who is, I, I want to say that both Judge Villardo and Judge Sinatra, um, regardless of who their family was or wasn't connected to, from everything I've heard, these are straight arrow uh, judges, straight arrow civil servants that don't have any inclinations um, about being corrupt. But that said, they have family ties and, and connections to things um, that for, for transparency's sake, you know, needs to be, you know, told to the public. Uh, we've gone over some of Judge Sinatra's. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. Uh, and we've also found a, a couple low-level, um, possibly organized crime links in Judge Villardo's family past. Again, both Judge Sinatra and Judge Villardo, I've told, have sterling reputations. Um, but when it comes to, well, let's just we'll talk about Judge Villardo for a second. Uh, sterling reputation has been on the been on the bench since 2015. Was uh, appointed by the Obama administration, and his 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 family ties are much more less much less severe or or um, deeply embedded than Sinatra's are. Judge Villardo's grandfather uh, was arrested for bookmaking back in 1947 off uh, Connecticut Street. Charges were dropped. Um, so that, you know, that that's really, really minor. The only other thing tying Villardo to the underworld in, uh, in Buffalo is the fact that his father, Larry Villardo Sr., was named in a big grand jury investigation back in 1975 into no-show jobs in the Buffalo City bureaucracy, specifically the Department of Sanitation. Uh, there was a couple front-page stories in the Buffalo News back in the back in the summer of 1975, naming 25 people that had no-show jobs at the Department of Sanitation. One of those names was Larry Villardo. Another one of those names was John Sinatra Sr who we talked about on, on our one of our previous OG episodes. Um, again, nothing directly tying them to the mafia, but there were un, you know undercurrents uh, uh, regards to what the mafia's role were playing in that. I'm told that you, you, you couldn't get a job in the city of Buffalo back at that time if you weren't going through uh, the Magadino crime family, particularly John Montana, Freddie the Wolf Randaccio, uh, and then finally, um, Jukebox Vinny uh, Scoro. And 
let's just finish off with Judge Sinatra. We talked about that the uh, defense, Jerry's defense, was able to really combat the notion that Sinatra had no connections in his family to organized crime that should have led him to have to leave the case. When he walked off the case, he accused the defense, Jerace Jr., his attorney, some other uh, alleged conspirators in prison, of manufacturing ties on the witness list, uh, calling two members of, of Judge Sinatra's family uh, or naming them as possible people that they would call the witness just to get call as witnesses, just to get Sinatra to remove himself from the case. Federal prosecutors said that the defense was with ill intent manipulating the uh, witness list using Ancestry.com uh, searches and uh, a big uh, African-American drug lord enforcer in prison, giving them a help, a guy named Ra Ra Arrington. And it was this narrative that they put out that this was all BS. And now it's coming out first based on defense counsel putting forth in evidence last month that, that Judge Sinatra's dad, John Sinatra Sr., was very close friends, practically best friends, with lead pipe Joe Todaro, the alleged predecessor to Joe Pizza Todaro, uh, Joe Todaro Sr., uh, capo enforcer in the Magadino crime family in the uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s, and then allegedly took the throne in the early 80s and led it into the 2000s. He died back in 2012. But Judge Sinatra's dad was going on you know, gambling junkets. Uh, they would go on family vacations. And there was there's a surveillance tape of, of Judge Sinatra's dad uh, attending Joe Todaro Sr.'s funeral and wait back in 2012. The last thing I'll say, we're going to wrap it up. This was a long, quick hitter, but there was a lot to, to talk about, is that we found out since our last OG update that Sinatra's restaurant, which is Judge Sinatra's dad's former restaurant, now it belongs to his brother, is a place that Joe Pizza Todaro, again, the alleged godfather, has never been convicted of any federal crimes, all, has always denied any role in the mob, but federal investigators are convinced that he is the the, the mob don of Western New York, spends a lot of time in Sinatra's, uh, has a Monday dinner group that he hosts there. Uh, according to sources, he had his alleged crime family's Christmas party back last December at Sinatra's. So, and furthermore, last thing I'll say, last, last thing I'll say, uh, that there are ties, uh, Sinatra senior to Freddie Randaccio, uh, that they would also go on trips together and uh, head to the casino together and uh, that he was a, a, a someone that was around Judge Sinatra when he was a young man. So you couldn't make this up, man. You know, Bu Buffalo is just seems like it, it appears like it's a wide open town. Like it's that, you know, like it's prohibition, Chicago, 1929. Uh, so we'll be coming back next week much more in-depth reporting on, on what's going on in Buffalo. We got a Patreon rolling out. Check that out. It's going to launch uh, at the end of the first week of August. Like, subscribe, share. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein. I'm out.